What's up guys, Lord Alucard here from iosgods.com. Today I'm going to be starting off a three-part series on how to create your own DIY hacks and then also post them onto the website. One video is going to include Game Gym and local app store. The other video, the second video is going to have game player and then the third and final video will be the actual walkthrough on how to post your own topic for a hack that you created. Um, okay, let's start off with the game gym. You will need to be jailbroken on an iOS device to have game gym, which requires you to have Cydia to install. You will first go into Cydia. Let it load, do its thing. I already have it. I have it on my device. There should be a little green check mark down here for those who have used Cydia and know what I'm talking about. But it's in the Big Boss repo, which it shows right here. That's the author right here, but then you have the actual <clears throat> freaking repo. It'll be right here. You can just go in here and search. As you see, I search for it, pops up, easy peasy, install it. Then you will have any game that you want to try to hack, which would be like Castle Creeps or something like that, or freaking Jurassic World is a good one, which I've done before, but we're going to go ahead and do Castle Creeps since it's a simple one to do. I'm going to go ahead and open the game, Jim, just have it ready. Open up Castle Creeps. This is just a freaking tower defense type of game. But <clears throat> you want to go see if you want to play this game. You'll scroll down and you need coins or gems. You can go ahead and search for this freaking 2200 inside Game Gem. Game Gem has three searching values that you can use. Usually it'll be int64 or int32. Int64 is usually your best bet unless uh, it's like a really large value then you can use int32 int16 doesn't really matter because whenever you search with it you'll end up with thousands of values and you won't be able to change them all and it'll take forever but with int32 or int64 you'll usually have your best bet right here up in the first of the three buttons up top you have this little you, uh, select application button you just click on it and it'll bring you to your app you can select it this little, this little curved arrow will actually take you back to the app. And then you have the little refresh symbol, which just like resets what you search. Like if you messed up anything and you change values the wrong way, then you could just hit it and it resets. So you can go ahead and press, go ahead and go search and hit this little magnifying glass. There should be a little icon that pops up right here. Yeah, see right here. 18 values, which is amazing. Actually, it makes it a lot easier. So you can click on here, then you come to the values section. So <clears throat> you have on the bottom left this little white box in this black bar area. You want to click on it if you want to change all the values at once. It's only 18 values. So you can go ahead and click on that, and it selects all of them, all, all of them as one option. Then on the bottom right of this bar, you have your two little icons, a little lock mechanism which allows you to lock the values so say you don't want to lose any currency <clears throat> and you don't want to actually gain any either then you will be just locking the values but over here on the far right you have your little uh, value changer <clears throat> which game gym has a bigger limit than game player but most games have a limit of like 2 billion, 147 million or something like that. It's an odd number. But I'm going to go ahead and just say 1. Change it to 1. And then you can go back in the game. And you want to go in the store. Scroll back to there. Look, see it costs 1. And you just only cost 1. You're just like, sweet. If you look at my gems, they're not changing because it only costs 1 and usually costs 2200 and I'd be losing 2200 each time but then if you want to change how many coins you're getting you go back in here 84,000 
let it do its thing. Load, it's only 14 values. You go ahead and click on that, click on that, and you could go like 100 million. Uh, there we go. Go back in the game and go like this. Scroll back to the bottom. Look at that. You're going to be paying one gem only for 100 million coins. But you can also change the values to negative if you want. You can make them freaking negative 900,000 gems and if you need gems. The only thing with game gem or actually trying to change values like this is the more online and PvP the game is, the less chance this type of hack will work. That's kind of a downside to DIY because <clears throat> it's usually harder to hack stuff like currency, but <clears throat> on like a partial online or a strictly offline game, it's easier. But that's a basic understanding of Game Gym and how to hack with it. I'm going to go ahead and close Castle Creeps. I'm going to open it back up just to show you that it actually stuck with the values. See, I'm at freaking 1 billion, 96 million gems. And whenever you close the game completely out of the background, it resets the values back to normal. And you can do it again if you wanted to. You just go back in here. And if you do that, and it still shows as Cal Scripts, you're going to have to go back over here to the little icon with the eye, click on it, and reopen it again. Because if I was to close the game and try to open it back up, and then I went back in the game gym... It still says Castle Creeps, but you're like searching and it was, it has the memory of you opening that before, but it doesn't have the memory of you closing it. So you're like, why is it not working? We'll just go back over here, click on it and look, see, it's back up and running. So you can go ahead and just freaking type, freaking, <laughs> you can buy one gold for freaking 800 gems if you wanted or 2,100, you know, simple. So that was a basic tutorial on Game Gym. I hope you I was also I hope you enjoyed. I will be posting this along with the game player tutorial, along with the local app store tutorial, and the how to create your own topics on iOSGods.com. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.